So, over here on this daiquiri bar, they're adding some more seats. That's what that plywood is up about. The reason I know that is I got in a, a I got a uh, thing from Clark County advising me if I if I object to it, I need to come to the meeting. Can you believe they have to send that to people like me? I mean, not that I give a shit if they're going to add on to this bar, but someone that gets that can come in there and just cause all kind of hell for the uh, for the flamingo and the architect and the engineers. They're all going to be at that meeting to answer questions. Wait. Okay. There's something different going on behind that plywood. This whole section used to be games. So they got this wall is new. They got something going on behind this wall. If I had my scanner with me, I would put it flat against that wall and we could see. We could see through it. And I don't have the code to that door. They said they'd give it all, all the codes, but they didn't. They're supposed to give them to me because of my status. Yeah, something's going on behind this wall right here. This wall and that wall. There's something inside there. We gotta try to get in there somehow. Some kind of, uh, I don't know if a concrete block would do it. You'd probably just get stuck in the wall. So, that's, I guess a sledgehammer. You gotta work quick, like at three o'clock in the morning. Well, no, six o'clock in the morning. Three o'clock in the morning is still crowded. Looks like they're trying to, well, they've been trying to completely get rid of uh, live agents. And I see fewer and fewer every time I come through places like this. But still, they got to get it to where that you can do it on an app. And you should be checked in while you're riding in an Uber or a taxi or a bus. I prefer the bus. Um, if you're riding in the bus, you can uh, check in, and then you should be able to go straight to your room with the app and unlock the door. The technology is there. Even if they had a code that you put in to a mechanical lock.
They don't sell spaghetti at the uh, but not but a Rama Rama. Huh. They don't sell meatballs either. Crazy. Yes, yes. Ooh, they got a home style crispy chicken sandwich now. How much is it? $21.95. Okay, you can get uh, three Popeyes or three Wing Zone chicken sandwiches for the same price. I just, it's just ridiculous. Nice hit. Fifteen and fifteen, those last two tables. And this is five, this electronic uh, crap is five. No, it's 10. Tonight it's 10. dollars so it appears that the shoot to win craps is being phased out I'm starting to uh, starting to recognize that oh okay now we got this place closed off down here I kind of saw this coming. So this was the Margaritaville. 
Casino, which has not been the Margarita Casino for a long, long time. Wow, it is completely, it's completely gutted. Whoa. I got lucky to see that because I was going to have to break that door down a little later because then I have to go buy some cowboy boots to do it. But holy shit, they, they have gutted the Margaritaville uh, Casino. So, I wonder what that's going to be. Well, that just, that was a happenstance. So this is all closed now, obviously. That bar, yeah. Boy, what potential it has. I tell you what, it was dead, dead, dead all the damn time. No wonder they're going to gut it. Such potential, look at this front. I mean, this seat right here is fantastic. Yeah, they're gonna make something good, I promise you. Because they were wasting, for some reason, people were not in there, but they were wasting this view, this location. So it'll be something good. I guarantee it'll be something good. So, since that was a little bit uh, of a short flamingo, Instead of going out the back of Flamingo, I'm going to uh, add on this promenade. Maybe we'll see something raunchy right here at the beginning. And then we'll see... Uh, maybe we'll see some good musician in the middle. I could show you some pizza. You know, you, you know I like that. That transformer. We got the big and small. Well, we got the big police. Monk. was fun I hope you enjoyed that and then here's the uh, musketeers or whatever they call them
Okay, so the girls actually make contact with the men with the spankings, and the boys only can act like it and then pop their hand. So that seems a little bit uh, unfair. I'm not sure who, who I can take that up with. It's a tempura uh, coating, looks like. Mm, some people were pissed off that I went in front of them. They thought maybe I was going to try to order. But they should know that I work for YouTube. Well, I work for a guy in Chicago that he works for YouTube. Well, actually, he owns YouTube. Or he directs it. He doesn't really own it. But he tells them what they can and can't do. So that's tempura coating, isn't it? I'm pretty sure that's what that is. I'm not sure that it's worth that money. It's $21 for a three-piece fish and some they call it chips it's really french fries they're just confused british are confused i mean why would you call french fries chips or why do we call chips french fries i don't know somebody's wrong selling in there laptops and heads headphones I guess pretty soon these windows will be completely open well in a couple months Somebody put out a list of top uh, barbecue in the United States, and Las Vegas wasn't on the list. Are you kidding me? Come on, man. Oh, God, he's talking to me again. I'm telling you that right there. Chocolate fudge. Eat what you want, put the rest in the freezer, and eat it right out of the freezer. I'm telling you, that's the way to go. And if you get Girl Scout cookies, put the mints, the mint cookies, put them in the freezer and eat them right out of the freezer. Do not thaw. Right out of the freezer, they will completely unthaw in your mouth. If you're a human, if you're 98.6, All right, I'm gonna sneak over here and check this pizza out. They're starting to remember me as the pizza photographer. 
I think I'm a little bit mentally ill. Or at least challenged. Let's see if the prices are still the same in here. Double double six oh five cheeseburger four thirty five hamburger three ninety French fries two sixty. Okay, the double double when they opened here at this location was five sixty. They have gone up forty five cents, but really they I thought they would have been three dollars more. So they're still good. See this food, JR Burritos. Hmm, I don't know what that was. So they have sell sushi, they sell crab, they sell tuna. Oh yeah, this okay. they do sell sushi. I thought it was like burrito, burrito, Mexican. It's uh, it's more sushi than it is. I didn't see any burritos in there. That's the perfect music for uh, that atmosphere. Everybody they book there is perfect for that place. So, Jimmy Kimmel Comedy Club is a franchise. Did you know that? You might see that in Nashville, or you might see it uh, in uh, L.A., but that one right there is owned by a local Las Vegas uh, guy. So, Jimmy Kimmel gets a little piece, a little royalty fee, and that's it.
So these uh, Lamborghinis and Ferraris and uh, Rolls Royces are all booked up uh, for next week because they're not going to let people come in here and think they're going to rent these things during the Super Bowl without making them rent it for many days, not just one day. All right, that's it for the Flamingo. It'll take a long route because Flamingo was kind of dead. Those uh, pedobikes are really, uh, not pedophiles, but pedobikes. They're really lit up. 